<laughs> hey there guys, welcome back to yet another edition of the DIY Chicken Coop Project. This is going to be part four in what I am thinking will probably eventually be seven to eight videos in this whole build. But it will definitely be the easiest part because most of the work's been done for me. I'm going to be installing some automatic chicken doors from runchicken.com on the coop as well as the coop run to allow for a bit of automated free ranging uh, when my dog is running around to protect the chickens of course so anyway let me show you the doors then i will install them and uh, show you some of the cool features and uh, then i'll tell you what is to come next in this series okay so here is the automatic chicken door that i'm going to be installing on the coop today it is going to be located on the lower middle third of the sliding barn door that you can see I have uninstalled from the coop just to make this installation a little bit easier. This door is from runchicken.com. They sent me this one and a couple of others to try out as samples, so I did not pay for it, but from what I've seen so far, it is a very quality door. There's no strings or lines to pull the door up. Everything is gear driven. That is what all of these little uh, slots are for. And it is programmable to be able to open um, at whatever time you want before, uh, you know, at daybreak and in the evening. So you could have this uh, closed 20 minutes after dark or 10 minutes after dark. And I'll show you that a bit later. But right now I've got it on manual mode just so you can see how it works. So you can see it works really easily and I think it's a really solid design. One other thing I did want to point out before I install it on the door is the logo. Uh, when I first looked at this I thought it was supposed to be a chicken and you can see by my logo it almost does look like a chicken. Uh, but I started researching it a little further and the founder is from Slovenia and that is actually the outline of Slovenia. So I think it's actually kind of like a a cool uh, double use logo so from where he's from and it kind of gives you a little bit of a silhouette of a chicken so now I'm going to put it on here outline it cut out the hole and then I'll show securing it and programming it to uh, open and close on the uh, daylight and evening settings And while I've still got the sliding barn door off, let me show you what I added in for the flooring of the chicken coop. This is just standard corrugated vinyl roofing. This is actually from some leftovers I had when I did my shipping container shop interior ceiling. And it will eventually be covered with some hay uh, just to give some bedding. And then when I'm ready to clean it out, I'll open up that end door and push it out with a broom. I'll show you a clip of that from the other side. And then you can also see I've added some round posts for the roosting bars. This is probably about a 40 degree angle. And these were just some round fence posts I got from Tractor Supply. Easy as that. 
And with the scraps that I had left over for the roosting bars, I added a couple of little outdoor roosts right there just so that the chickens can be able to roost underneath this shaded area uh, and not necessarily be in the coop. And they seem to be liking it pretty well so far. If you're wondering about that guy right in the middle, he is a naked neck. Kind of looks like a little turkey. What I've added here is just two screws with large heads to create a little bit of a lip so that this little piece of aluminum on the bottom of my ramp will kind of hook on there. And that's pretty much it. Well, it's been a few days since you saw me install the gray colored automatic chicken door onto the main coop. And so far, everything's been working flawlessly, but I'm sure some of you may be wondering why I would even install it on the main coop since that portion of the coop is already surrounded by the chicken yard. Well, that is for a couple of reasons. Number one, if an animal uh, like a fox or a raccoon or bobcat ever did get through the yard, it's just an additional layer of security that they would have to go through to get to the chickens inside the coop. And number two, uh, when it's closed at night it prevents rain from getting in there and the past few days we've probably gotten three to four inches of rain uh, so it just keeps excess water outside of the coop but I also wanted to show you uh, runchicken.com also sent me another chicken door that is in a red color and I actually think this color looks way better than the gray um, and you guys know I'm a fan of gray but anyway I'm going to show you this one closer and then I'll talk about uh, the uh, how you can change the settings if you wanted it to, to open up at a different time versus uh, daylight and dusk and all that good stuff. Well, here's a closer look at that second automatic chicken door I've installed. You can see I have it on the outside of the coop run fencing, and that is just to allow for some automated free ranging time for the chickens so that my wife, daughter, or I don't have to get up and open up the main coop run door. And then when they're done free ranging outside and the day is over, they can go in and this will also close automatically. Um, I've installed it to the fencing with a scrap piece of plywood that I primed and painted really well to be a little more uh, resilient to the elements. And then I've secured it to two scrap pieces of aluminum uh, so that it can be pretty stiff uh, versus just floating on this fencing, which obviously isn't super rigid. And then the last thing I wanted to point out is that uh, I believe it's preset to open up 20 minutes after sunrise and close 20 minutes after uh, the sun sets, but you can also set this to open and close at an hour or five minutes after, whatever you prefer. There's just a little uh, button under here that you press at whatever time you wanna preset it at and hold it, I think for like five or 10 seconds, there'll be a series of blue lights that'll uh, indicate that the time has changed and that's when it will open and close from here on out. So anyway, I just have it closed right now so that you can see the chickens uh, running in the background. I'll open it now manually um, and let them come out. Thank you. 
Well, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick any of that up, but in the background there are some pretty big rumblings of yet another big monsoon storm. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. But as always, I hope you guys found this interesting and perhaps it gave you some ideas in case you were working on a chicken coop project or some similar project of your own. As for the automatic doors, I've been using them for over a week now and they operate flawlessly. They raise in the morning and close at night. Um, as I mentioned before, I love the design, which is why I reached out to, to, to uh, runchicken.com uh, because I just like the gear driven design. It doesn't have any wires or strings that could potentially get snagged. So anyway, if you guys are in the market for a door like this, definitely give them a look. I really think they are high quality. I love uh, supporting a small business and uh, that's pretty much it. As for what is to come in the next portion of this, uh, it's something that I probably should have already done, but that will be the rainwater harvesting system. You'll see a gutter up there two gutters on the main chicken coop and then PVC piping that eventually goes either to that barrel or an IBC tote if I decide to upgrade it to that size. Um, and then I'll be doing the electric fence and uh, a chicken water system to replace that kind of uh, generic tractor supply one that I have uh, currently in service right now. So. I think that is pretty much it. As always, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.